Hey, hey, what is happening? All you mechanical maniacs, Hurst Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Jeep Challenges. All right. <clears throat> so for the past three or four episodes, we have been trying to get this Mustang here around the track in less than two minutes. I have failed miserably on all accounts. So in the last episode, I asked you guys, hey, you know, what should I do with this thing? Should I just get rid of it? Or should I still give it a go? And for the most part, um, I've only had two, two replies that actually told me what to do. So one of them being WoW SB Gaming um, told me to keep going after it. And I've got Ryan over at RPM Games giving me some suggestions on tire setups to give that a shot. So it sounds like you guys are really wanting me to try to get this thing around the track in less than two minutes. So that is what we are going to try and do today. All right, so for the most part, the engine is pretty much, uh, to bring you up to speed, the engine has pretty much um, been repaired. The rockers, the rods, um, they can be, you know, a little messed up. You know, you can tell like the, some of the stuff up front is, is not all that great. Power steering isn't all that great. Uh, alternator is not that looking that great. Oil filter looks like it's shot. But for the most part, she's given me, um, let's see, what is the most I've been getting out of it here? Um, I want to say 104. Yep, 104, or 104 horsepower. Um, at 157 pounds of torque. That's what we've been able to get out of the engine that originally puts out 135 and 195. I would think 104 is enough to get you around the track in less than two minutes, but maybe not. Now, I will say my driving skills are not the best, but you both seem to think that I can get this thing there. Um, I had thought about just, you know, another thousand um, bucks. RPM Games was very... Uh, generous in saying that he would give me the thousand dollars and uh but you know looking into it i was like nah, I, i'd like to do this on my own i'm over a million in credits i'm good to go so i think i can spare another thousand bucks right now we are at eleven thousand four oh three that's all in car and everything to get the car close to right now we're running at about a 204 to a 206 at the track that's what we're running at so now for the next part of this is to take it into the garage. And um, what we're going to do is take a look at tires. Now, uh, let's see. Here. What we are going to do is we are going to give it a set of yellow the yellow wall tires. The yellow wall tires seem to stick to the track pretty well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a square setup. And what we're going to do is end up selling this stuff off. I'm going to dismount all this, uh, all this stuff. Now the tire size that he's telling me to do is a 175. 175 60 13 175 60 13 so let's just go ahead and get those right now so we're going to go right here uh 13 inch 175 and we're going to go what is it 50 he said 175 60 so we're going to bump that up to 175 60 this is going to take me, this is going to cost me 2,000 credits alone. So that, doing another $1,000 is not going to cut it. So another 2,000 is going to put me at um, roughly at 13, 13, 7, 19, 13, 7, 19. Um, truth be told, though, um, I'm going to have to buy those. Actually, when we started this project at the very beginning, if you remember, we thought it was going to be a 15K project. 
that's what I thought it was going to be. Once I bought the car and got it running, I'm thinking it was way under 10. And I thought, oh, this is not, this is going to be a 10 K project. So I kind of changed it, kind of, um, lowered the standard to a 10 K project. And, uh, well, this is where it's gotten us, right? Um, it's not happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off 2 K for tires. Holy crap. So it's going to be a little expensive, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, we're going ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to take these tires. We're going to sell them. It's not going to give us much money. Maybe 300 overall. Um, I doubt it's going to give me anything. Um, if I sold this, yeah, 68 crit. So it's not going to give me a whole heck of a lot of money for anything. So I'm going to try and keep it under the 15K challenge. So with these wheels and tires, the setup that Ryan has sent over to me, we're going to give this thing a shot. Now, win, lose, or draw, um, if I don't make the two-minute mark, we are going to, if I don't make it, I'm just going to throw it in the, the parking area. I'm just going to leave, right? And if I do make it to the two minute mark, I'm just going to sell it. Because this has been one of those cars that's been a pain in my side forever. These tires seem to, honestly, uh, stick to the track pretty well I've actually been pretty impressed with these types of tires these tires because um, I didn't realize these didn't realize it like in this game that tires really matter um, I think it, we did showcase a little bit of that when we were trying to put when we were putting tires on the hot rod and I upgraded the tires and it made it from its um, I don't know. What, what, what were we? We were a... What were we? Um, uh, it doesn't tell me. Um, we were like a, a D. And I got it to a high D. And I actually put it into a C class, I believe, with the new tires. So with that, I was like, okay... So it does matter a little bit. I'm gonna put the room rims back on the rear. Don't think it matters. New rims, front rims. I don't think it really matters. But I do want to look the same on both sides. <laughs> Just me. Okay, so fire wheels they are. I'm not gonna do anything there's really nothing else much to do to the engine compartment. I mean, I could uh, pull some stuff apart, add new rockers, new arms, or new rods, I should say. Um, I mean, this air cover, I don't think it's going to matter. 16%. I mean, I don't think that's going to matter. Uh, but we'll give it a shot, okay? We'll just, we'll just, why not, right? We got a few credits to spare. We'll make it brand new. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter that much. So it might be a, it might have been a waste of money. Just looks pretty on the inside now. Okay. Um, quickly looking at some of this other stuff. Um, don't think I think we're good with the 104 horsepower but we're gonna take a look to see just if that air cleaner did anything I don't think it did I really don't think it did uh, but we'll give it a shot and see what she does all right all right let's see what we can do
Okay, so I gained a horsepower by cleaning up the air intake. Okay, but that's not going to help us get around the track. Anything's going to help us get around the track. It will be these wheels, these tires. So let's go ahead. We're going to give it a shot. All right, so let's go. Anticipation, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very slow car to get it on the track, that's for sure. But I will say with these tires on it, cornering is so much better. So Ryan might be on to something, so pay attention all you guys out there. These yellow wall tires, the trick getting around this track is a good time. Because I can tell right now, this is, I mean, I'm not going to make it to two minutes on the first lap, of course. Oh, look, no sliding, no nothing. I did light up on the throttle a little bit. Stayed off the apron a little bit more. Yeah, 63, 64, 66. I had to I had to break a little bit on there because I was going towards the fence. That's all there was to it. The thing now is just to keep it. Keeping in the corners fairly well. I'm at minute 45. Not where I want to be for a minute 45, but that's okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, okay. So a 209 on the first lap, that's really good considering it was a full acceleration. Now if I can keep it on the track. Tires are the key, not horsepower. Now I did add an extra horsepower, an extra single horsepower to it. That wasn't going to make a difference. Seriously. The tires that Ryan has told me to put on here has actually made a world of difference as far as handling. Um, I went a little wide just to... If I, cut the, if I cut that down a little bit too far, it was going to cut my time off, so... My time is actually really good. 71, 72, wow. That's the, probably the fastest I've come out of that corner. And I, I hit it just very, I, I, it was a pretty lousy corner. Doesn't help the wind drag that I don't have a door on here. Okay, 92, looking at the time. Coming through the chicane, less than 145. I may have it, ladies and gentlemen. I said that way, way too soon. Seven, eight, nine, oh, and there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, when Ryan speaks, everyone should listen, because that is how it's done, right there.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. Oh my goodness, we made it under two minutes with these wheels, with these tires. Now, like I said, the one the horsepower, the single horsepower gain by, uh, by cleaning up the air, air intake is, is the air cleaner. It's, 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 wouldn't it matter? Wouldn't have mattered at all. What made the difference was the wheels here, the tires. So, Ryan, thank you very much for pointing me in the right direction. I love digging. Um, so I'm going to have to remember these wheels and tires. Typically, when I do these 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 videos, um, to the challenge, um, I try to get the car back to its original state as much as possible. But with this one, this in particular, the wheels, the tires on here, they, they were not connecting with the track they were not hooking up so it was really making me lose a lot of time so much time in fact like 15 seconds 10 to 15 seconds which is a big deal when you're out there on a the track so brian I certainly appreciate it when i speak gaming i appreciate you encouraging me to keep going on this um overall what did we sink into this we sank uh, 13 166 that is total overall I got rid of everything that was in my inventory. So I sold off the tires that I did have already. So 13,166. If I were to sell it, which I'm going to, I'm getting 15,544. So if I were to, I'm getting a profit of about 2378. That's about all I'm going to get out of it, but that's okay. That's that, I'm so done with this car. <laughs> I'm so done with this car. Oh my gosh, it is out of here. All right, now barn bargains and other cheap challenges. That's what we do here, right? So now that I'm kind of freed up with our money, um, we can, you know, can, I can continue to work on my my Panther Pink. Uh, challenge or charge or geez, Huda here. I have started the blue one over on the Rot to Rad series. Oh yeah, same kind of setup. Same kind of setup. Um, so check out the Rot to Rad series if you are interested in that. All right, now that we've done that, um, should we do another challenge or do another barn find? This is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do both, right? So I'm going to go find a barn. Um, and I'm going to see what's out there. And if I can't find that, then maybe we'll look for a challenge. All right. So let's do the barn first and then let's see. We'll go from there. All right. Let's creep around in this barn and see what we can find here. Typically, as I say this every time we step into a barn, um, all these things may give you another map. And if they give you another map, then it, the chances are you'll get another barn to compensate for the one you just did. So, let's see, what is this thing? It has all the wheels and tires on it. It is an XR4TI with no sunroof. It's a Merker. The mod, uh, how much you want for it? 11.2, it's worth 11.5. So, not too bad a shape. It looks like it's I mean, seriously, it looks like it's got, oh, well, it doesn't have a headlight. Um, for the most part, it has all the body parts. It doesn't have some windows. Um, what, what's the price tag on this? 11 2 Okay. So, not thrilled about it because it's something I just don't want to build. How's that? Um, nothing I would enjoy building anyway. So we are going to see what else is in the in the barn here. Oh, is that? Go back here. Take a look at some of these other stuff. This other stuff. If I find a map, I'm done.
That was the last, last place you look. And that's a funny scenario because the last place you look is usually, it will be the last place. What is this? What is this? This is a Dodge Charger 777. What the hell is this? 89. It's worth 93. Wait a minute. Ooh, hold the fort. Never seen one of these before. Oh my. Looks like it's got all the body panels. The wheels look like they're in sad, sad shape. It looks engine. Oof. Really rough shape. Lock looks orange. A couple of red pieces there, but it looks like that's something that I would have to I had to replace anyway. Um, finding one of these, this is the problem with this, finding one of these to do any type of repairs to is going to be difficult because I'd have to go searching in the barns again. Uh, a lot. Up arm is shot. But the upper arms can be taken from something else. That's fine. Um, fire shaft. Wheels are just totally. I don't think I can salvage any of these wheels. That's the problem. I'm looking. Let me put this flashlight. Okay, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. That one is toast. So I will have to find one lousy flipping wheel for this thing. Um, the price tag on it. Hmm. All right. Um, we're going to keep looking, see what else is in here. Usually at least three cars in here. There's probably used to be a car in here. Probably taking that out. But I've never seen a 777 before. That's interesting. And it's my color. It's that butternut yellow color. It's just one of those things. I always talk about the butternut yellow because uh, looking at a 68 Camaro, I always wanted a 68 Camaro butternut yellow. Um, I don't know, what was that? No, that's not it. This thing's going to oh, be junkyard. I want that thing, but I know the only way to get it to find that other wheel is going to be to find another one in the barn. This is a this vanilla car, our zero. Uh, not in bad shape. Wheels are in good shape. Body is complete. Actually, this would probably be one. Uh, a lot of this is missing. Like fuel tanker is missing, but chip is missing. There's a lot of components that are missing that, again, may have to go looking for. Um, I have not found a map yet. All right. So what I think I'm going to do, 
I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to get this, this 777. I have no idea what this is. Um, what kind of a price tag is on this thing? Oh yeah, way over budget. Way over budget. Is it 164? It's only worth 128. That's that. That's the clincher right there. We're going back over here, and we're gonna pick this thing up. Um, it is like a butternut yellow. Only place you find it is the barn. It can be found in the auction as well. The auction, mind you, would be the uh, Kowalski's regular auction. Not the junkyard auction, but the regular auction, I feel. So that's going to be something I'll have to look for. All right. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to buy it. So, yeah, it's got it's got a lot of pieces that are uh, wrong with it. That's okay. That's all right. Um, we, can, we, can, we can do this. We can do this. All right. We're going to buy it. It's, it, it's not expensive. Uh, miles are like, ridiculous on it. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Okay, with that, that is going to become a classic creation. That's going to go back into a classic creation look. Um, so we're going to leave here and we'll go over to the auctions and see if we can find something that we could possibly... Well, no, because I'll be focusing on the 777. So let me focus on the 777 and then uh, we'll get back to a challenge later. All right, let's get back to the garage. All right, let's give this thing a quick bath. This is actually a pretty cool looking car. I've never seen, I haven't seen one of these. I haven't come across one of these ever. So this is, this was a surprise. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh. Clean up the interior. Oh, look at that. Look at that white back there. Wow. All right. Looks like I have my hands full right now because this is what it's going to be like. Uh, trying to get this completely restored is going to be a challenge. For sure. So let's go ahead and do the body up. 1500 bucks. Then, uh, we, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take everything off here. We'll get the body taken care of anyway. For the most part, it looks like everything. Looks like everything. Your clamshell. Oh! Wow. Make sure of all that. Probably missing a body piece I don't know about. <laughs> that would be a bummer, wouldn't it? I think. I think we're good. All right. So, yeah, first and foremost, we're going to get the body. Looks like everything is in good shape. So we shouldn't have an issue there. Now I can screw things up. It's been known to happen, trust me. Get the body all taken care of. I'm not gonna have the glass, of course. All the all the glass will have to be replaced. That's okay. We'll get the body completely done. So, classic creations, what is that, Hurst? Well, what we do is we take a car that we find in the barn and we build it back into its pretty much its stock configuration, right? So, everything that we have um, gets repaired. If it's a, a non repairable type item, right? If it's an item that can't be repaired, meaning it's not meant to be repaired then what we do is we have to buy new. If it was meant to be repaired and can't be repaired, we will repair it. If it's an item that 
can be repaired, but cannot be repaired, meaning it's below the 14% threshold or 15% threshold, then what we need to do is find that part and refurbish it and then install it on here. That's the way it works. So I can't just buy things willy nilly out of the catalog. That's that's the whole thing. Front clamshell. Oh, I don't have the front clamshell. So there you go. That is going to be an issue right there. Thought everything was good. Okie dokie. Yeah. I don't have the front clamshell. So the front clamshell, if I were to take a look at that. Um mirror on um so we'll go go ahead here fresh imports charger open shopping list front clamshell it is uh to use with the front end p and fenders p and t only what that means is i'm going to have to find another one of these damn things <laughs> that's what it means that's what it boils down to so i've already have to look for one of those Okay, I thought it was just going to be a wheel, but that's okay. That's right. I was going to have to get a wheel anyway, so that's not a problem. Okay, so while we have this up, let's go ahead and get go ahead and get the windows. We have to get that, so we're going to get uh, all the windows done up. go that way we'll have that taken care of oh did not have that window but I can't do anything with it anyway so it's got to come out I should say it gets replaced all right, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have everything done. Go ahead and sell off these pieces. Don't need them. Now we can start working on other things, such as rear end. And knowing that this 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 wheel is in bad shape, just to prove it to you, I know it's going to be at least I don't know, thirteen percent, maybe even twelve. Point. Oh, it doesn't have a fuel pump in it either. So let's see what we have here. That is one big ass tire. Okay, the rim, the Typhoon rim, 10%. So there we go. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a problem. And it's a 20 inch, it's a 20 inch Typhoon. We could probably only find it on this type of vehicle. So we are going to have to go searching for another Typhoon. Or for another another 777. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we're going after. That's what we've got going on today. Thanks for hanging with me. Ryan, thanks for giving me the, the direction for which to get that Mustang off of my back. Get it under two minutes. And, eh, we got it under 15k we got it under 15k so maybe a little later on we'll try to find something and do something under 10k who knows we'll figure it out all right until the meantime thanks for hanging with me i certainly appreciate it. hit that like button down below uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and if you are a subscriber hey share the videos across the internet i'll talk to you all later this is Hurst quasar saying good night and i am out